I'm about six miles off the coast of Jupiter, Florida, and we're in an area where I actually saw a white shark here not too long ago. Right now, as we're going to take you down here, our captain is actually trying to lure some of the sharks there, and you can see they're coming in. We've got some... Uh, uh, some sandbar sharks here. We, we have some uh, silkies that are coming here. We saw a bull shark here just a short time ago. Now look, we're not doing this to scare people as we head into the holiday weekend, but this is just sort of a reminder that if there's salt water, there's a pretty good bet there is a shark nearby. In fact, this spot where we are here is a rather popular spot that people come to, to believe it or not, come in and go swimming with the sharks. In fact, there'll be several boatloads coming out here later this afternoon. And all of that sort of dispels the myth that if a shark sees you in the water, they're going to attack. The great white shark, the ocean's apex predator, a species that had been in serious decline, but now hopeful signs the beginnings of a rebound. A study by Oregon State University and Stanford using shoreline cameras and drones identifying hundreds of great whites. It's like fingerprints on a human. The shape of their fin, the marks on their face, uh, their abdomen and their tail. So we can actually get a count? That's how they're getting the counts. And the counts are going? Up because of the, <laughs> the protections. In just 10 years, a remarkable 35% jump in the population of great whites off Northern California. Close to 300 spotted in the so-called Red Triangle, from Monterey Bay to Bodega Bay to the Farallon Islands. Getting the most credit for the turnaround? The landmark 1972 Marine Mammal Protection Act. In the Red Triangle, there's been a boom in mammals, like sea lions and seals. Do we see more great whites there because there's food, or is it there are more great whites? There are more great whites because they've been protected for over two decades now, especially along the California coast. In both the Pacific and Atlantic, it's increasingly common to see sharks, sometimes just inches from folks paddling surfboards. It's amazing how many people contact us all the time saying, you know, it was so cool, I was out at this beach and I got footage of a shark swimming by. And, you know, 20 years ago, people would have been like, we got to alert people. This is a dangerous situation. And now people are actually excited to see that. The so-called Jaws effect that once demonized sharks, slowly changing with a new generation. Did you get scared as you got closer? No, I, was like, I felt like really relaxed and calm. He says he's very relaxed. Uh, I am because I'm right now out of the water. Look, if you're heading to the beach this weekend, again, we're not trying to scare you, but a couple things to point out. First of all, sharks like to feed early in the morning, like now or late in the evening. We've got a big roll coming in here, guys. Um, so it's best to stay out of the water then. And if you're wearing jewelry, perhaps take it off because the jewelry can flash in the water with the sun and it looks like the scales of a fish. And of course, that's what a shark is really after. Back to you guys. Carrie forgot the, yeah. the, the best tip. What is that? Stay out of the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Stay on land. I don't know. Go to a pool. <laughs> Carrie, we saw some of those sharks jumping, so maybe don't yeah. bend over so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> My goodness. Shark whisperer. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. I don't know what he chummed up that water with, but man, they're all coming wow. for you, Carrie. Yeah. Maybe they're camera hogs. <laughs> they they are. Exactly. Maybe they yeah. just want their close up. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.